With us in Washington, CBS News National Security Analyst Juan Zarate. He is a former advisor to President George W. Bush. Juan, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. So what's your reaction and take on what the president is expected to say? Well, this is a dramatic shift. We knew that the president was going to have to articulate the balance between uh, preserving the capabilities of the NSA and the intelligence community to gather data and analyze it uh, with privacy and civil liberties. But uh, the move here to shift the data out of the hands of the NSA is a fairly dramatic one, one that will take greater detail, perhaps some legislation. But more importantly, Charlie, I think the revelation that the president will order judicial uh, findings or order before any query of the database can happen, that is a dramatic shift as to how the intelligence community has used this information in the past and no doubt will raise concerns in that community about how it does its business. And why do you think the president made this shift and this change? Well, I think the president was certainly hearing the concerns about the government holding mass amounts of telephone metadata, uh, and he couldn't ignore it. He can't ignore it. Um, and so he's trying to balance here the ability uh, to, to query these kinds of databases, which are important to, to connect the dots, but clearly with the, the concerns over the government having access, not just now, but in the future, and for potential abuse. And I think the president uh, certainly wants to strike that balance. Juan, let me ask you, the president gives speeches. He calls for reforms. That doesn't necessarily mean that they become action. They require a lot of uh, um, approval by the intelligence community, by Congress. And the president, we're told, is not going to say who should eventually hold right. this data. Who could hold this data? And will it, to answer critics' questions, will it slow the intelligence efforts uh, to quickly retrieve this data to prevent a terrorist attack? Well, there's no question that it will slow the intelligence community's ability to access the data. If it doesn't collect it, doesn't have it in one place, uh, it's going to be slower. That's just the, the, the obvious fact. The, the reality is there is no clear option at this point. You could have the telephone companies keep it, but there's no legislation that requires retention beyond a certain point. You could have some third party, a clearinghouse, keep the data, but that doesn't exist, and it's not clear that that would be any safer for privacy and civil liberties. So that's why the president, I think, is going to punt a bit on that issue. He's going to declare that that's the desire, but he won't necessarily uh, articulate what that looks like. Juan, thank you so much. Thank you, Charlie.